Hello, I'm Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CEH Certification Program by EC Council. Module Social Engineering Section Introduction. Social Engineering is psychological manipulation of people into performing actions or divulging confidential information. A type of confidence trick for the purpose of information gathering, fraud or system access. It's often one of the many steps in more complex fraud scheme. Various social engineering techniques employed are pretexting, diversion theft, phishing, wishing or phone phishing, spear phishing, water holing, baiting, quid pro quo, tile gating, shoulder surfing, eavesdropping, reverse social engineering, etc. We are going to cover these in another session. This is social engineering picture. Employees' behavior can have a big impact on information security in an organization. Employees may not fully embrace organization security culture and effort. And even with the best organization effort, some employees' ignorance invites troubles to the organization. As per Anderson and Dreamers, for better information security management, follow the five steps. Pre-evaluation, strategic planning, operative planning, implementation and post-evaluation. Let us know about the five steps on information security management. Pre-evaluation. That is to identify the awareness of information security within employees and to analyze current security policy. Strategic planning. Design a better awareness program with clear focus and targets. Operative planning. We can set a good security culture based on internal communication, management buy-in, security awareness, and training programs. Successful implementation is based on commitment of the management, well communication chain, training, and commitment of the employees also. Post-evaluation or retrospective. Let us know about some of the social engineering examples. Most common type of social engineering happens over the phone. Some unauthorized person calling and seeking sensitive information. Technicians and staff. Under the disguise of service technicians, housekeeping staff visit the premises without any suspicion to steal company secrets. An individual may walk into a building and post an official looking announcement on the notice board that says the number of the help desk has changed. This goes unnoticed until some hue and cry happens by the time irrecoverable damage might have happened. How it may go? Employees may call the fake number that is displayed on the notice board for help and fake support gets involved and trick the employees to share their passwords and IDs thereby gaining access to the company's private information. Another example is a hacker may follow the social network site of the organization and start a conversation with the target. Gradually, the hacker gains the trust of the target to capture sensitive info. Social engineering motive is to manipulate people, exploiting human weakness for personal benefit. Other motives may include phishing credit card account numbers and their passwords, cracking private emails and chart histories to extort money, Cracking websites of organizations and destroying their reputation. Generate a virus hoaxes. Convincing users to run a malicious code within the web browser via cross-site scripting attack to allow access to their web content. Social engineering concept goes into the movies, television shows and the video games also. These are the popular movies, Live Free or Die Hard, Identity, Hackers, etc that has this concept. Beware of the laws on social engineering. Pretexting or unauthorized access to personal information is cheating and invasion of privacy. As per US federal law, pretexting is an illegal act punishable under federal statutes. Thanks for watching.